Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In our last video or in the last episode, we saw my investment journey of 6,000 rupees and how it compounded over a period of time. In today's video, we're going to see yet another interesting video. This is going to be choosing your uh, method of investing in the mutual fund. If it is going to be your step-by-step -step, uh, SAP method or if it is going to be one lump sum investment. So we'll, without further delay, we'll get started on that. But before that, I wanted to show you or will tell you what are the differences between your SAP or, or your uh, lump sum way of investment. So SAP is nothing but your step-by-step uh, -step of investment. You invest a fixed amount of money over a period of time. And this could be over a horizon. Like you can go for like five years or 10 years or over a period of time, it's up to you. But lump sum is like you get a bonus from your firm or you get some kind of an investment from your family. You try to invest that entire amount into your uh, stock market. The only problem what we face here is like we will not be able to time the market. So timing the market is a very crucial thing which we will not be able to do. Not many of us are like experts in the market. So to time the market you need to know the intricacies of the stock market. How is the market be behaving or how is it responding. If it is in a bullish trend or if it is in a bearish trend and all of those to, to be taken care of. But in this example I'll show you a quick and easier way how to track or how to find out which is the right method of investment or we'll see actual reports of how the investment has compounded. The SAP method has given up better fortunes or if your uh, uh, the lump sum investment have given up better fortunes. So in SAPs you'll be able to invest uh, even as low as 100 rupees but in your lump sum the investment is going to be a minimum of 1000. That's going to be your minimum investment in your lump sum. In SAPs, you'll be able to do the uh, rupee cost averaging because you are going to invest in uh, lesser dips and uh, buy it in even in higher dips as well. So higher highs or in lower lows, you'll be able to buy them. But in your um, lump sum, you're not going to do any cost averaging. You're going to buy it at the uh, dip in the market or in the correction in the market. So that's going to be like a one-time investment into a market. In your SAPs, uh, we need not time the market. So we are going to buy it like in all the highs as well as in lows. But in your uh, lump sum, we are going to buy only when there is going to be a correction in the market or when there is a huge dip in the market. So these will be the key differences between your SAP as well as your uh, lump sum methods of investment. I'm going to show you an example of a Tata mutual fund. I've got investment in this fund in both the methods. I've got an SAP investment, also a lump sum investment. So we'll see the reports of that and we'll see how it is like uh, responding to the market scenarios. So this is the market report which I'm having. This is my uh, portfolio uh, fund allocation. You could see here that this is the investment which I've made or I've started from uh, the 7th or the um, 2018 from July I have started this my investment is over 3000 every month this has got automatically as an uh, I did not go for any step up investment this is going to be a fixed investment of 3000 every month and I'm just going with the flow and this has got uh, the investment journey if you happen to notice here the uh, initial month I've got about 21 units the market was the NAV of that was like increasing initially but after that if you happen to see that after a few months you could see that the uh, NAV started declining and if you happen to plot up all of these data into an Excel sheet, which I'm going to show here in this, you'll be able to see that initially the investment and the returns were all the same. I did not grow up well and it was just 2018. But the SAP method helped me with the uh, rupee cost averaging. I was able to average the market. So the market when it was like high, the units were like bought less. And when the market was low, the units were like purchased more. So I was able to average up my investments or my uh, purchase of units were like on an average and this journey went on you could see here the results of this so this was my returns on the first year in 2018 again in 2019 2020 you'll be able to see all of these reports that was your covid break the 2020 again the market was in a huge crash at that time it was a big correction during that time it was like a panic selling in the market and i was able to buy up more and more at those times as well and after which you'll be able to see that in 2022 and 23 my returns were like averaging up or it was like increasing like crazy and that's the story of your SAP method of investment. But if you happen to see the, uh, the lump sum investment in the same Tata fund. So this is the investment which I've done in my Tata resources fund. This I've gone through the lump sum mode. So in the lump sum mode, you could see that like I've invested during the uh, June 2022 dip. So I was able to time the market a little bit. I'm not an expert by any means, but I was able to time the market. I'm going to show you the method, how I'm able to time the market and when is it the right time to buy using a lump sum method. So that's a quite easier way to do that. So for that, what we are going to do is, uh, before that, you could see that the investment date was on 14th of June, 2022. My investment amount was over 3.6 lakhs and the current value of this is almost about 6 lakhs. So I've got roughly about 2.2 lakhs of profit. You'll be able to see the... Uh, uh, the 10% of uh, 
capital gains as well. And after that, you will be able to see that the units was purchased in one shot. I was able to purchase uh, 12,000 units of uh, this Tata MF and the results are now shown up as uh, 5.9 lakhs. So to time the market, what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicator which is your RSI. So I'm going to take your nifty chart here. You could see the nifty chart here in uh, one month's progression and you will be able to see how the market is performing. This biggest dip is going to be your COVID dip and further than that, you will be able to see the market is in a bullish trend now. However, I wanted to time the market because I got some lump sum amount. I wanted to invest that into the market. So I was waiting for an opportunity to find the right opportunity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, indicator here, which is going to be an RSI. So I use RSI, take your RSI and in the RSI, the RSI normally is something which um, works between your 30 and 70 range. So uh, the 70, anything over 70 is going to be your overbought zone. The market is like is in a full uh, bullish trend and it's like overbought zone. And anything below 30 is going to be your bearish trend. So and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the uh, RSA value and I'm going to set or change the length of this to be as 2. And once I press OK, you'll be able to see that the market, uh, the value of this is going to be changing. And what I'm going to do is like I'm going to wait for all the dips in this. So any dip you see here, this is all going to be your major correction in the market. That's going to be a really bloodbath in the market and everybody would be on a panic selling. And that's the time where we're going to invest. So whenever you have a surplus amount in money from your employer or as a bonus or as something else, whatever money you're going to have as a surplus in hand, we wait for an opportunity like this and we invest at those times. So here what I could do is I can just keep this in track and you can just uh, keep observing your nifty. I'm just going to track and uh, draw a line or a marker at 10. And once I have this information with me and uh, what I'm going to do next is and wait for that opportunity like whenever the market is going below 10 that's the time you should invest. So in this case you could see that like the market has got once corrected in 2018 it's got corrected again in 2020 and this was the next incident uh, which is like June of 2022. And that's the time if you happen to notice here that I've invested in the same time you could see the stock market here. This is going to be your um, 2022 dip. I could have invested earlier as well during this time as well, which is going to be your um, 2022. I did not invest it during this time. You could see that this is the exact dip. This is the 20th of June. That's when the NAV was around 26. However, a little bit earlier, you'll be able to see the initial week of June or in May, the NAV was like 29. And in the month before that, it was like 34. So 34 to 22 is going to be a huge difference because I'm having almost about 12 points difference in the NAV. So and the purchase units are going to be hugely different because I'm going to make it as a lump sum investment this time. I've spent or invested almost over 3.5 lakhs in this. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to wait for my opportunity. I'm going to exactly wait and wait for this chart to touch 10. So once the chart touches, the dip value touches your 10 in the RSA indicator, that's the time you invest. So when you invest your funds in that way, you'll be able to properly time the market. The market can even go on a correction below that as well. It can go even below that as well. It can go below 8 or it can even come till that as well. So at times, that, at times like that, what you need to do is you need to reinvest onto the market. Do not do any panic selling. Just stay cool. Try to invest more at that times and try to average your buying cost. So that way you will be able to like invest in more and more chunks of money and lump sum and you'll be able to average your buying purchase. So what I did was I invested during this June and after that you will be able to see that uh, as I showed in my earlier screens, I was able to like time the market during this. After that the market went on a correction and it automatically went on a bullish trend and I was able to make up a huge benefit during this. And if you happen to see or ask me like which way is the best way of investment, I would suggest you is uh, to go with both the means. So have a channel of investment which is going to be systematic. Every month try to invest a little amount of money. Try to go with like 3,000 or 6,000 or some amount of money depending upon your earning strategy. Try to go with an investment and try to keep it automatic from your account. Do not break your SAPs. Always have it like a, um, fixed and automatic make it as the sweep in account will be like automatically debiting from your uh, paycheck once it's credited automatically it goes to your mutual fund investments and the remainder of the amount keep it as liquid funds or keep it them in like parked funds in some other uh, means like it could be in your uh, savings account or it could be in your uh, liquid mutual funds where it could uh, have the volatility as like investment it could be like easier to liquidate keep it in those funds and wait for the right opportunity 
you'll be able to get at least like a 6% interest from your FD account or from your liquid funds. Keep them in safe, like try accumulating those funds as well. And once you create a corpus of two or three lakhs, what we do is we wait for an opportunity like this. And once the market is like hitting up those 10 or like keep a parameter as like nine, if you want to be in a safer channel, keep it nine as well. And once the market, uh, the RSA value touches that, invest the funds into the market that time and buy in the same mutual fund as a lump sum as well. This way your NAVs are going to be bought as like cheaper prices and you're going to see like greater benefits. And this is my review of uh, the Tata mutual fund that I own and I've invested on this in both the ways and I'm getting about uh, the ROA on this is almost like 22 to 24 percent which I'm receiving it for the past four to five years. If you like this video do share it with your friends and uh, if you want me to uh, post such videos um, do leave in your comments like what could be the next video as well. Thanks for watching this video.